Today on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform reporting on backup in Oracle. Sometimes as a DBA, you might, uh, you might need to have a report of all backup activities you are doing. So let's get started. Reporting on backup or on Oracle 19C database. To know backup details, so just simply write list backup summary. For this, uh, you have to connect to your CMD and then connect to ARM and target. And just type list backup summary. And it gives all the information about your backup activities that you are doing. So it, it says this backup was taken on disk on this on this date and this is the tag number you can report on data files that need to be backup sometimes uh, you might think that which data files on on your database would need to take the backup so for that you would need to write report need backup so in my case I don't have any data files that we need to take the backup. So in your case, that might be different. Reporting data files needing incremental backup. Sometimes as a DBA, you might think that which data files would need incremental backup. This example reports all data files in the database that requires the application of one or more incremental backups to be recovered to their current states. So just try it, report need backup incremental one so in my case i don't have anyone that would need incremental backup zero one reporting obsolete backups and copies the following example reports obsolete backups and copies that are redundant according to the current retention policy the retention policy is set to redundancy one Sometimes there are redundant backup or expired backup. So if you want to list or have the report of that, so just type report obsolete. So I don't have any because my armor and attention policy is set to redundancy one. So I don't have any redundant backup or expired backup. In your case, if you a run or file report obsolete it if it lists you some of the the redundant or expired backup so what you can do is simply delete and you can just type delete obsolete and this will delete all the expired backup which are redundant so in my case no obsolete backups files you can quickly view all data files associated with the database as follows. So if you want to, to know about data files and the table spaces of that data file and the location of data file, you just need to write report the schema. So what it does, it gives you all the information like this is the size of this table space and this is the size of this data file. So these data files, which is related to system table space, this is the size. And this is CSAC table space, and this is the data file related to that. So it gives you all the information about the data files. Hope you learned something new. If so, then give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.